The Subaru Evoltis is a mid-sized SUV that has no business asking for your money. It's made in the USA. It's 3.4 million pesos and it has 19 cup holders. I can hear a lot of people asking, what SUV needs 19 cup holders and who needs them? I'll tell you who. It's Subaru fans who has families. How's it going guys? It's Roy Robles from zigwheels.ph and today we'll be digging deep into the Subaru Evoltis because sometimes Subi fans have to grow up. Now I want to talk about the overall exterior look of the Subaru Evoltis. Upon closer inspection, it definitely is quite a massive SUV. Now on paper and on mental images of some people, people would say that, hey, it's just a Subaru Forester. But looking at it closely, it's definitely so much larger than a Forester. It's actually the largest Subaru that's available. So on the front end here, it gives off that Subaru Forester vibe, but it has this large trim around that grille right there. And of course, the large Subaru badge also has LED headlamps right here and LED fog lamps. There's nothing really remarkable about how it looks, but you can definitely say that this is all in all a Subaru. Let's emphasize the side profile of the Subaru Voltus. And again, it's not your regular Subaru Forester. It's not your regular Subaru. It's a large midsize SUV. Right here, you got your 20 inch mags shot in 245-50 R20 Falcon tires. And then on the side, you got this huge chrome strip at the bottom, but the biggest feature would be that chrome trim around the side windows. Now you got your large roof rails, of course, and there's nothing really remarkable about the side. That, like I said earlier, it's definitely a Subaru and Subaru does Subaru things, has this uh, plastic cladding, and you won't see any blacked out detailers right here. No floating roof design. It's just playing good old SUV. With everything that's happening in the front and the side, probably the rear section of the Subaru Evoltis has got to be the most interesting part. You got your chrome strip right here that grabs your attention, your LED tail lamps, your rear spoiler, and you've got this black plastic trim at the bottom of the bumper, probably to avoid scuff marks. You also got your dual exhaust at the bottom right here that's connected to a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine that some say will be found on the WRX STI, the next generation one. If you can imagine that, an STI engine in a family SUV, this is probably going to be the fastest grocery getter you can find. The biggest show in the back would have to be the power tailgates. Look, Ma, no hands. That goes with closing it down as well. Magic, isn't it? Super easy. Super easy. Look at these wide opening doors. Easy for me to get in and out. So if you notice, I didn't talk a lot about how the Subaru Revoltus looks on the outside it's because the magic happens on the inside. If you look at the, first of all, you look at the steering wheel, it's leather wrapped with nice white contrast stitching here. It's got your volume control, uh, media control buttons here and your cruise control. You can even have buttons here to control everything that you can see in the uh, center control display on the gauges as well as uh, you know it even has heated steering wheel come on that's amazing well of course this comes from the united states it's definitely made in the usa so it's made for that market it's just something that's nice to have of course it has my favorite feature in any car that any car should have a fully adjustable steering wheel that bounces around <laughs> i love it Okay, finding, again, finding your perfect driving position is easy on the Subaru Evoltis with your, of course, adjustable steering wheel and your power-assisted seat controls, which, by the way, is also available for the passenger side. So, apart from the adjustable steering wheel, my favorite feature in this car has got to be those cooled seats. It's got three settings, low, medium, and high. It's perfect for these Philippine summers where it can get scorchingly hot. And as soon as you get it activated, oh my goodness, I never want to lose this seat. It's really cold, even my cameraman agrees. And they say this is probably the best feature that they have on the Subaru Voltus. and you gotta give it a shot yourself. Head on over to the Subaru dealerships and uh, try it out. 
leave us a comment down below and tell us how this feels for you. Also, it's really comfortable. The seats are definitely well bolstered and fits my frame. And even though, uh, even though I'm 5'10 and a half in height, I'm still able to find the perfect setting for me. You also have uh, memory settings here. So you can set your, uh, your seating uh, settings. You just press the button right there and you're good to go. So we've got leather everywhere. Uh, definitely par for the course for uh, these types of vehicles. But what you get is these wooden trims. That's, that's definitely right here. So if Subaru fans are used to having carbon fiber trim, once you grow up, you have wood trim. There you go. At least the piano black accents are kept at a minimum and just right here on the center control panel. So not a lot of things for you to smudge with your oily fingers. You've got your shift knob here. What I love about Subaru is that they gave us this regular shift off. Nothing of that zigzag type. Just goes forward and back and you're good to go. That's what an automatic should be. We'll talk about the driving later on. Now let's look at the center control stack. Center control stack definitely looks more, I want to say traditional compared to the modern looking ones in other SUVs. In fact, look at this. When was the last time you've seen a CD player? You know, remember CDs? Those shiny discs that you now use as coasters at home? They're probably used as Frisbees. <laughs> yep, it's got it. It also has an aux jack. So um, that's definitely appreciated. I've, I've never seen um, aux jacks in newer cars lately. You only have Bluetooth and Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which by the way, this does have. It does have Apple, uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so that's great. Also, you have these volume knobs uh, instead of having capacitive buttons to control that. I really appreciated having physical control buttons for your radio, your map, your apps. Again, it's pretty old school, but you'd really appreciate it. There's a lot of stuff that I want to discuss in the uh, front panel, but again, those are the things I want on the note. For example, you have dual auto, well, actually triple zone, triple zone climate control. You got this here and of course the one at the back. Then you got two USB ports, automatic brake hold, and of course the button to activate X mode. So what is X mode? Oh, as you know, Subarus have symmetrical all-wheel drives, and of course their heritage of uh, going off-roading is definitely right there, and you have it on the Evolta. So if you activate X mode, it also gives it hill descent control. So that's it. You definitely had that. So again, talking about more toys in the Subaru Evoltis, you got your uh, the view button right here. What is it? If you click on the view button, you'll see your front camera right here to help you park this bad boy. So um, a lot more stuff. You got this passenger indicator. What's a passenger indicator? Well, the Subaru Evoltis is pretty expansive. You might overlook some of your kids not wearing their seat belts. It's just gonna show you exactly which passenger is not wearing your seat belt. Hey, you're not wearing your seat belt. So just have, having to turn your head, you can actually do this. You got this conversational mirror up there and um, you just take a look and see how your kids are doing. They're doing fine. They're still non-existent. Okay. Let's talk about the rear view mirror. It may look like your traditional rear view mirror right there. It's awfully small uh, for this huge SUV, but take a look. Just switch this button right here and ta-da, you got your magic rear camera. So instead of having to use your just your sight, or just a mirror, you can actually use the smart camera in order to uh, check out the rear surroundings. So no matter how many people you have at the back, nothing's gonna obstruct your view. Just turn that on and you're good to go. So again, this center control stack's pretty busy, but again, there's so much more that I wanna discuss with you throughout the inside and I wanna show you. Let's take a look. All right. So the middle section definitely has these really cool cat and seats, but take a look at these privacy blinds here, or what I call peasant blinds. So uh, in order, if you want to avoid the paparazzi having you, haggling you, there you go. You got this really useful privacy blinds. It's really comfortable right here with these cat and seats. The leather, so soft, and it's very supportive of your back. And you can even recline this or move this, slide this forward and back. As long as you don't care about the guys in the back, that is. Got a flat floor in the back, which adds to even more leg room. Definitely helpful. In fact, tough to think of it, this is actually a good place to be in, in the Subaru Voltus. If I were a kid, I wouldn't fuss so much. And of course, kids are basically humans with no human rights. But on the Subaru Voltus, they earn a sense of freedom and sovereignty by having their control, their own AC and the rear. 
They only have themselves to blame if they burn themselves with the heated seats, but at least they learn responsibility and they learn that never click on this button in the Philippines. You also have this actual outlet for you to charge your devices. So no fear of losing your batteries and you can actually charge your quick charge charger right here. No worries. You also have two more USBs here. And oh, by the way, you got another set of bottle holders. One of many bottle holders, by the way. One of the biggest attractions in the inside of the Subaru Evaltis is this panoramic sunroof. The kids are definitely gonna enjoy this one. And it's a good thing that the rear passengers won't be able to access the outside of the sunroof, just the front ones. As you can see, we got a pretty tall guy at the back right here, but his legs is sticking out, although I'm sitting in the second row, but he's all right, you're all right, right? Okay, so as the Subaru Revolta is definitely a seven-seater, three-row SUV that the third row is probably best for kids. Third row passengers are well taken care of in the Subaru Evaltis. It even has rear air con vents for the third row passenger seat. So they're not really an afterthought. The Subaru Evaltis is really a seven seater SUV through and through. All right, so after looking at all the toys in the Subaru Evaltis, let's take it for a spin. So driving off on the Subaru Evaltis, it doesn't give you the instantaneous power that you're looking for in normal Subarus. It has a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine that makes 260 horsepower and 376 newton meters of torque. So first of all, it doesn't have the um, SI drive engine management system. I don't see the need for it actually with all that power under the hood. All the power comes in as soon as you hit the throttle. Overall visibility on the Subaru Evaltis is amazing. I mean, being an SUV, being a mid-size SUV, it definitely should come as standard. I mean, with all these wide windows, you can definitely see all around you. Blind spots are minimized. And of course, it has all these electronic safety systems to help you out. You've got your blind spot monitoring system. I mentioned the smart rear camera there to help you with um, to help you with navigating through the streets. So even if you have a lot of passengers in the back, you still would be able to see the guys there. Power is really enough for this type of vehicle. This weighs, four, this weighs more than 4,000 pounds and stopping power is pretty good. And of course, it's got ABS and electronic brake force distribution, but thanks to those large brakes, it does have enough power to stop all 276 horses right on their tracks. So let's talk about ride quality. Being a premium mid-sized SUV, that's definitely par for the course. It's got independent McPherson's up front and dual wishbones in the back. Now, what that means is that you should expect softer ride compared to most Subarus, but hey, I'm checking, out, I'm checking out right now and you can barely even feel the ruts on the road. See, as you can see, the power doesn't really come in as soon as you hit the accelerator, but once it does, you can feel all 276 horses come in. Oh yeah. See, you can, you can still feel a bit of the Subaru naughtiness there, thanks to that boxer engine. And again, Subaru boxer engine plus turbocharger equals fun. Steering feel is, well, that's one thing that I probably have uh, my own gripes about this car. Steering feel is a bit, you know, it's a bit vague, it's a bit numb, but these days with electronic power steering, that's definitely one to expect, but I really wish it has more, you know, has, has more bite to it. I wish it has more road feel. Although the steering feel is a bit numb for me, and I probably would be the only person complaining about that these days, but at least you do have the power, you do have the uh, responsiveness that you are looking for for those um, solo trips you're looking for. So, yeah. I know what a lot of you guys are asking, how's the fuel economy of this? Well, being the largest SUV, the largest car in Subaru's roster, well, you might, you might definitely won't be expecting stellar fuel economy in this one. Although it has that CVT and a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine, I'd say on a good day in the city, and that's around six kilometers, so six to seven kilometers in the city, if you don't drive like a madman, 
So I think it's it's pretty good if you think about it. I mean, if you consider that's one of the bigger engines in their lineup and one of their heavier cars in Subaru's lineup, it's reasonable. And when you put this up in the highway, that's where the real fun starts when it comes to fuel economy. You may get around 10, 11 kilometers per liter, but you don't buy a Subaru Evoltus for the fuel economy, right? You buy it for all the safety features it offers. You buy it for the power. You buy it for the brand recognition. You know, when you buy a Subaru, you just don't... You now, when you buy a Subaru, you don't buy into the car brand. You buy into the culture that it stops. And Subaru fans are one of the craziest, one of the most loyal fan bases out there. And once you do... And once you do get a Subaru, even for the Subaru Evoltus, you're buying into the Church of Subaru. Now, a lot of people have been talking about the price, whether if the Subaru Revolt is worth it, if it's worth the 3.4 million peso price tag. Well, I gotta tell you, Subaru owners are not like any other car owners. I mean, they, sometimes people would be looking to how much one car is, how the uh, fuel economy is, but what Subaru owners are looking for is what can a car give me? And this car can give you a whole lot of stuff. Now at that price point or less, you could probably be getting a similar product that Subaru can give you, but you'll be compromising. When it comes to the Subaru Voltus, you're definitely not compromising. And if only Subaru fans would know that nothing, no other car in this segment can really replace a Subaru Voltus, especially for those kids. You know, eventually, you know, regular good old Joe Subaru, you know, Subaru WRX fans would grow up and you got three kids you definitely can't fit all of them inside the Subaru now you've got three kids you can't definitely fit all of them inside the Subaru WRX can you so the next logical step is to get a Subaru Revoltis I mean it just makes sense for a Subaru fan it might not make sense for you but that's just how it is a wise man once said that in life you have two dads one that you're born with and one that you choose. Pretty much the same way that the Subaru Voltis is. Sometimes you have to get a car that you need in order for your family to survive. Also, you need another car for you to be adventurous, to be sporty, and find your very next adventure. Now, the Subaru Voltis lives in the middle of that Venn diagram. Sometimes you can use this car for your family, and at times, you can get away with the weekends. So what do you think of the Subaru Evoltus? Leave us a comment down below and while you're at it, like this video and subscribe to our channel and make sure that you hit that notification icon so you're alerted whenever we upload a new video. Once again, it's Roy Robles from zigwheels.ph and I'll see you next time.